Right, today I'm going to introduce uh, the, a data structure called Rag Black Tree. It's a, one of my favorite kind of tree structure. Why? The reason is it's colorful, it's red and black. And the most importantly, why I like it? Because the, the, the self-balancing mechanisms of Rag Black Trees only rely on five coloring rule and just really simple tree operation, right? Next. So quickly, I'll go over the agenda for today. It's the introduction of the self, uh, the red black tree, the property and the coloring rule, and tree operation, and some of the fundamental invalid case and how you how do you deal with those invalid case. And lastly, the most important one is the insertion of red black tree. All right, first, all right. Sorry about the misalignment. Uh, the first red black tree is a kind of self balancing tree. So what I mean, self-balancing tree, you can expect it to have a kick-ass performance on the searching, or, or the searching operations. Um, each tree node has one extra attribute, which is the color. And if a tree node has no children, then its corresponding tri node will be set to no, which is NIF node, which terminate the tree. So underneath, you can see the NIF node is a black, a black square that holds no value. Oh, and next one, next, next, this very important property is the red black tree with n node has a height of at most two log of n plus one. This kind of the bread and butter of red black tree here. So, if you have a validate red black trees, this is the height he has. So, which mean it lead to the search run time with O log of n. Why? Because those searching operations is a directly infected by the length, by the height of the tree. If you ensure the height is two log of n plus one, his search runtime will be all log of n. Okay, next I'm going to introduce what kind of uh, coloring rule for red black trees. Rule one, every node is either red or black. This obviously, and all the leaf node need to be black, right here. All the leaf node. And root node need to be black. So if you have only one node in your Red black tree is always to be black, always start with black. All right, rule four, one of the most important rule in the uh, amount of five, five rules. So if a node is red, then both of his children are black. So it's, can someone quickly, quickly tell me which case is a valid red black tree? Okay, yes, I see someone say this is the right one. So it's kind of interesting. So probably you might ask, what's this rule doing here? So just bear with me the, with the thought. But this uh, coloring, uh, coloring rule is really coming very handy for the search, uh, search and insertion operation later on. So rule five. Every simple path from a node to a descending leaf node can the same number of, of left node. What it means like, what it means like the path you pass through from the root node to the leaf node, you gotta count how many black node in your path. This path contains, for example, in this one, it only contains one black node. And for this path, it can take two black nodes. So this is not a valid red black tree. Take a look at the right side. I just changed the color to seven and 14, I change it to uh, black to red, and now you have a valid red black tree. So now before we dive deep to into the invalid case of the red black tree, well, I want to just go over the simple tree operation you got to perform later on. So a tree operation is just a, a right rotation, a right rotation of the red black tree just need to unbind the target node and rebind his parent as his child. And hand is hand in the target child back to the parent's node. And this vice versa, you just do the same operation from the left rotation. For tree balancing operation, this only have two different kind of strategy. Changing the color between parent and grandparent, which means just some, uh, some simple color swap, and make some of tree, 
tree rotation, what I just showed you to bending symmetry. So some insight of how to uh, satisfy the five rule. When you satisfy rule four, you always satisfy rule five. So here's case one. Case one is I no parent have both no and parent no are both red. This is rule four violation. How do you how do you validate? How do you solve this problem and then uh, change this to be a valid red black tree? Very simple. Do a left rotation and swap the colors. That's one really simple operation. So for case two, no and parent are both red, but the uncle no is red. Right here, the uncle no is red. So how do you solve this problem to return this back to a uh, valid red black tree? Do you want to do? Do you think you should do a tree rotation here? But no, you shouldn't do it. It's actually uh, other way around for this problem. Just do a simple color swap here, and now you have a valid red black tree. So, last for the insertion, we're gonna talk. So we're gonna because of time, due to the uh, say of time constraint, I just do a very simple user case. Construct a simple red black tree that store the element value of a sequence array one, two, three, four, five, six, a, seven, a. Assuming newly inserted node is red. So, how do you wanna do it? If you don't use any of the, if you don't uh, follow the red black tree rule and do do not do any tree operation, you will end up the link list, pretty, which is pretty useless. But right, let's just start with the beginning. When you insert node one, it's red. Because because if you have a one node, you, you always need to make the root node to be black. The next one is also very cheap. When you insert node two here. This is automatic valid. So this, this one is a valid red black tree. Next, inserting node three. So this gets things probably getting interesting. So this one's actually the invalid case you saw before. So how do you validate this tree? You can just do a very simple left right rotation and then swap the color. And then you end up to be a valid red black tree. Next, inserting no four. Again, you've seen this pattern before. It's a case to invalid. All right, what you need to do, just swap the color. And because root node need to be black, also need to repaint the root node to be black, and then you have a valid red black tree. Okay, keep going. Things getting repetitive, but bear with me. There's some kind of magic happens later on. So insert no five. It was at, end up in here, and you see the, this pattern before. It's case one invalidation. You need to do a right rotation. And then when you do a right rotation, you, you might always end up to be a color invalidation. So you need to repaint the color every time you do a tree rot, uh, rotation. Now you repaint the color, everything's perfect. Every path have one exact black node. It's good. No six, insert no six. So this is what you have in here. And this right here, same pattern, case to invalidation, swap the colors. No seven, repeated pattern again. And then do a simple right rotation and swap the colors. So what, you, might got, you guys might ask, what's going on? With this? This tree does not look like valid to me. Uh, look does not look like balanced because, but if you think about it, the shortest path right here is to no. The longest path is for no. So if it, there's some mathematical operation behind it, but a, a valid red black tree, the longest path is no bigger than twice of the length of the shortest path. So this still. This is a still a, red, a good red black tree. Next one, A. C. 
see, you have a similar case to invalid, invalid case validation here. And then do a swap here. The interesting is you satisfy proof five. All the paths only contain one black node, but you validate root, uh, the rule number four. You have two consecutive red nodes. How do you solve it? This is actually case one invalidation. What you need to do is left rotation. You see what's going on here? I rotate the four up to here and put two as a child. And then because uh, rotation end up to be color invalidation, just swap the color. And at the end, you end up to be, end up with a really happy <laughs> balance, red, black tree. So, so if you, I, I don't want to keep going because the, the panel just keep going, going forever. But if you follow, those uh, operation and valida validation approach, you end up to be having a really self balancing tree. And so the conclusion is, every red node insertion might invalidate the red black tree, what you have seen in the insertion user case. So take advantage of the color scheme to do validation check. So the color scheme setup is not, is not useless. It's always there to increase the performance. But if you, look, if you set up the color right, the computer, when you go to check the node, you, or you, by just reading the color around the local, the neighbor, it would just tell whether this tree is valid or invalid at all. Make simple tree rotation to fix invalidation case based on the rule and the invalid case. I just show you. Uh, here is the resource if you want to know more about the red black tree. And thank you. This is my tech talk. <laughs>